Welcome to the Bella Vista Gardening Program. I'm Jerry Horner, and today joining me is Barb Templin. Again. Who is, again, <laughs> she's my, one of my favorite guests. <laughs> and um, she is a fellow member of the Bella Vista Garden Club, and she's a very knowledgeable person when it comes to plants. And today, uh, we're going to be talking about growing cactus. And cactus isn't a real popular plant, I don't Especially think. Especially here. Yes, because we're Especially not in a desert. Right. right. But it's right. an interesting plant, and we're going to show you some interesting variations they have. And uh, she'll grow us, give us tips on growing them and how to use them in your garden to add a little interest in your garden. Um, and we'll also be talking about what to do in your garden for the, in July. Yes. So, And for the 4th of July, uh, the Just Petaling nurse, uh, um, flower, florist, shop. flower Shop has given us this darling... Um, arrangement she's given us for the 4th of July. The red Isn't that beautiful? White. It's very pretty. Now she's located on Forest Hills Boulevard and she's also a member of the Garden Club now. Yes. So she joined the Garden Club. Yes. So we have to thank her for that. That's a nice little... Yes, that's um, very nice of her to do. Nice things for her to do. Yes. So there's not a lot of gardening going on in, um, in July, a lot of activities. Uh, we do want to say that the Bella Vista Garden Club um, garden party was a huge success in yes. June. It yes. was just great. It had a great turnout, and everybody loved it. So that was a that was a good good. It was a, a a bit on the warm side. It was always it was warm for July. But, but I mean for it, June. Yeah, yeah. But it was still a huge success yeah. for everybody, yeah. um, everybody that came, and they had a great time. We had yeah. a wonderful band. Yeah. Uh, so four of them, I think. And. And of course, food was the wonderful. wine and the food and mm -hmm. everything. So. so, but there's not a lot going in July. But uh, you could go to Crystal Bridges or uh, Botanical Garden, the Ozarks. They have activities going on in July, and you can just go to their websites and see what's going on. Um, and um, the main thing we're here about today is cactus. You know, when you think of cactus, the first thought that comes to my mind when I think of cactus is like these old westerns mm -hmm. out in the you know the, the, desert. the desert and the big cactus growing up yeah, you with know the arms coming out right yeah. right and that's the only relationship that I've ever really had with cactus before because <laughs> I just you know I've however cactus is so different there mm -hmm. are so many different types of yeah, cactuses what, that 2000 two two, varieties of cactus mm -hmm. There's actually two types of cactus, right. which is jungle and desert, and we'll talk about those yeah. uh, a little bit later. But people mix up succulents with cactus. Right. And not all succulents are cactus, mm -hmm. but all cactus are succulents. Right. So it's and like a variation of, of succulents. Right, yeah. right. And the reason that cactus is... is considered a, a succulent, as in a lot of um, succulents, is mm -hmm. their ability to hold water. Right. They're drought tolerant. Right. They're very drought right. tolerant. And the way that they do that is when, they, when it rains, during the, the rainy season, uh, the, the stems of the cactus absorb the moisture mm -hmm. and hold it. Yeah, they just keep it in So there. when uh, the dry period comes, they, as they need water, because mm -hmm. cactus needs water, everybody, mm -hmm. um, then they will draw that into their, right. their system. I think um, succulents do that also. It's just the cactus are different because they have a, a specific um, um, element to their leaves. Right. They have Right, a, right. Uh, and you'll be surprised as to when we start showing you some of, of the different cactus, what is actually, you might have thought, was a succulent, mm -hmm. um, just a succulent, mm -hmm. actually turns out to be a cactus. Yeah. And we've got a few varieties mm -hmm. here that we'll show yeah, you yeah. later. Yeah. But it's really, it's really very, a very interesting uh, topic. Yeah. Um, but cactus, they're, not, they're not really popular here. I mean, you see the no, prickly not, pears and you see the... You know, those grow here. Yeah, you know, and you winter. go to some of the big uh, uh, the box, box store. stores, and you'll see these little pots of mm -hmm. um, the different succulents. They're all marked succulents, probably. Right, right. Um, but some of them will have flowers on mm -hmm. them, and you swear the flowers are fake. Right. But they're the as we'll show later, the the flowers on some of these yeah. cactus are absolutely stunning. Yeah. 
not nothing like Anything but they that, don't flower all the time. No. So mm -hmm. maybe once a no. year, so it's not right. A, a, right. But some of them do flower quite a bit. But there's a few varieties that flower yeah. more than once a year. But, right. But, right. Uh, and the um, the cactus is actually a very easy plant to grow. Um, it doesn't take a lot of fussing. It doesn't take a lot of um, specialized nutrients. It doesn't, you know... Basically, cactus, uh, you water them. It's like hot, dry, and sunny. That's what that's they right. need. That's right. That's right. Sunny, little water. And and the the reason that a lot of cactus die is not because of the lack of water. It's because too much. We're we're overwatering them, mm -hmm. and they that rots their roots. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you you can't you can do that. kill them with water. Right. That's right. As I said before, there are two different types of um, cactus. And uh, the first type is the jungle cactus. Mm -hmm. And we've got some um, uh, specimens here for you to, to see. Um, but they are, um, uh, they take the humidity here in, in our area very well. Mm -hmm. So if you have something such as an aloe or a, a Christmas cactus mm -hmm. or something. They would love to be outside right now right? because of the heat and the humidity. Mm -hmm. But you can also grow desert cactus here. Um, but you just have to take them in for the winter. Right, no, they don't, right. They can't take them. They don't winter, winter, yeah, they don't yeah. winter, they don't yeah. winter over. But a lot of succulents don't belong outside in the winter time either. And there are a few succulents that will survive. Right. You know, it just depends, depends on their variety and you have to, you know, just maybe Google it and see, you know, right. what they say the zone is. So, right. You know. Right. Yeah. Um, the one thing and the way that you can tell what a uh, type of cactus is that you have is not only from the specific leaves, but cactus all have spines. Mm -hmm. And um, depending on the shape of the spine and depending on the shape of the aerial, which is where the plant blossoms, it's mm -hmm. the tip of the, the plant, that's where the new growth will be mm -hmm. and that's where um, uh, the flower right. will be. And all cactus have aerials. Yes. But all and succulents don't. don't. Have, they don't right. have aerials. An so. example of the um, uh, aerial would be, it's very tiny here on, on this uh, Christmas cactus, but it's the very, very end of this Christmas mm -hmm. cactus. And y you just, um, uh, you can barely see that little, very tiny little spot right mm -hmm. up there. Um, that's why people have never thought of Christmas cactus as an actual cactus, mm -hmm. but that's where all the new growth is, and this right. has got some new growth coming on it. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, like this is a new shoot. You can see that this is a new shoot here. Mm -hmm. These are new shoots here. Mm -hmm. um, and that's exactly where the flower will be when it when it grows, yeah. right. Well, the main thing we see around here in the ground and you know year round is the prickly cactus, the right. prickly pear. Right. And that does winter over here. It didn't winter over in St. Louis when I lived there, but it does winter over here. So you do see sometimes people using the cactus in their landscape, and it, it does add a different element. Right. You know, right. It's, really there attractive. are cactus that that look like little rocks. Right. And, and there we're going to show that. Right. Okay. And there are cactus that grow. 10 feet tall. Right. Now, as far, and, and that would be a, a house plant. Mm -hmm. That would be like what you're looking at right yeah, now. That's the uh, lithrops. And, and that's called the, um, look at how split rock. It how like beautiful that rocks. is. Yeah. yeah. They're darling. Um, it's it's a, not real big. No, it's, it's small these plant. are the, the first ones that we're going to show you. They're the smaller mm -hmm. uh, uh, of all the cactus types. Mm -hmm. But um, but there's uh, hundreds of varieties. Oh, thousands of varieties. Yeah. The uh, the next one that we're going to look at is, and here again, they're they're le look very much like rock. Now that's the t Titan. I can't pronounce these names. It right. breaks my tongue. Right. Titanpisis. So and that's a, a little bit 
um, uh, larger well, maybe. But. And you can see the, that the flowers on each of those was different. Mm -hmm. They're in the same family, mm -hmm. but the flowers on each of them are different. And there could be different colors even in that same family, that same plant. Right. You could have right. yellow, red, pink, orange, I mean the variety of colors of the blooms. They change and a lot. You, you're probably going, well how do I get a cactus to flower? Mm -hmm. There's no way you can force a cactus no, to flower. They just have to be happy. Right, they have to have, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> they have to have the right growing environment, mm -hmm. right. which means the right soil, the, mm -hmm. the right amount of light. Right. Um, there are cactus that, that need a tremendous amount of <clears throat> sun, mm -hmm. and then there are some that don't need mm -hmm. quite as much. Morning Maybe light. Maybe you just need bright light. Right. Mm -hmm. Morning sun would probably be the only uh, amount of sun mm -hmm. that, they, that they need, mm -hmm. but... Um, you can't make a cactus flower. No, no it, you don't it's just, put fertilizer on the right, make them flower. and they don't flower all the time. Mm -hmm. um, I actually have uh, mine is you know what would be called a Christmas cactus, but it actually didn't flower until Father's Day. So I'm I'm thinking that it's a Father's Day a Father's Day cactus. Could be. You know, well, there's Easter cactus, there's Christmas cactus, depending yeah, so on when they flower. Why not a Father's Day yeah, cactus? Why not? You okay. know. Well, the next one we have a, a picture of is the uh, lapidary. And this is an unusual cactus now, if family. if you look at that, isn't that strange? It's growing out of rock. Mm -hmm. So it's probably just a little hole in that rock with just a little bit of soil. They don't need a lot of soil. They're not deep rooted. No. Uh, so they mm -mm. can survive and in just a little amount of soil. And really, what they're what they're growing out of is the crevice of the rock mm -hmm. or a crevice of a tree, mm -hmm. and it's the decomposing leaves mm -hmm. and that, that sort of some, thing. Yeah. And what you're looking at at the top of each one of those plants that's, is the flower. That's the bloom. Yeah. And and it's very it, you wouldn't call it a flower no. in in most terms, mm -hmm. but to that particular cactus, that's, that's a flower. Right. So it's, it's very interesting. And the next one we have is the uh, Penestria. And this is the one you see a lot of. It's kind of a rounded cactus, and it has these cute little blooms on it. Like I said, they don't look like they're real. No, they mm -mm. Look and they artificial. come in a variety of colors. Oh, they're just hot unbelievable pink and colors. orange and white and yellow. Now you'll, Some are bicolor, right. you know, two colors. And you'll notice on this one that it has the, the spikes. The mm -hmm. spines are real close to the body mm -hmm. of the plant, and then it has these, these spikes. And they're sharp. Yes, they are. Be yes, careful. they are. But the unique thing about a lot of cactus is they can be used for medicinal reasons. Mm -hmm. um, the Native Americans used the uh, spines and mm -hmm. the uh, spikes from cactus mm -hmm. as sewing needles. And, oh, yeah. I mean, so many different... Tough. Right, right. Um, they also use them for um, making tea and, mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. The tricky thing with that is that you have to know exactly what you're dealing with, right. what cactus, what, you know, um, what needs to be done uh, in order to be able to safely to use. use. Yeah. So I'm not encouraging anybody to go out there and munch on a cactus. No. no. Um, <laughs> well, the next one we have is uh, the uh, gibbon, and it is another small one. It's our last small one, and this is a cluster of them. So they're. Um, you can see that lavender color is so Isn't that cute. gorgeous? Isn't that cute? That's just... Now, that would be cute <clears> on your <throat> patio, and then you just bring it in for the, you know, for the winter and put it on your, your porch or your you know, enclosed deck or something. Right. And uh, just protect it a little bit. But they are so cute. And, and yeah. what you've noticed with each of these so far, and as we continue, you'll notice them with all of them, is how plump those um, yeah. spines They're are, how fleshy. plump those They're leaves are. <clears throat> because that's what keeps a cactus mm -hmm. uh, alive. And their, their natural growing habitat is not something that you will easily be able to replicate, mm -hmm. but you'll be able to get close to it. Right. Um, so... Uh, and some come from Africa, some come from, you know, the Mediterranean. Well, the, 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 actually, the, the really interesting thing about cactus is that they're only found in the Americas. The oh, only other oh, cactus. I thought there was some from Africa. Mm -mm. Oh. The only other ones are that. from Madagascar. I see. But the the true cactus is only found in the Americas. Hmm. 
That's how which I thought that was very, That's very interesting. interesting. Yeah. Um, so it, it's, uh, it's not been imported like mm -hmm. so many of our right. flora and fauna has been. From all over um, the world. Right, right. right. So okay. that's, that's different. And the next ones we have, the cactus that uses house plants. And the first one, that's an aloe vera. Now, a lot of people know about aloe vera. There's a lot of varieties of yes. that also. It's, yes. um, it's a very popular plant here. We have because, a sample of it here on the desk. And um, this is the one you see a lot of. And this is the one, um, this little one here. Th this is the one that you see everywhere. And everyone should have one of these. Yes, near Jerry and kitchen. I are big proponents of everybody should, it'd be mandatory to it have an aloe mandatory. in there. <laughs> and then you can see there's um, one broken off here. If you cut, your, if you um, burn yourself in the kitchen, which I'm oven, apt to which do, I do all the time. I'm, I'm not so the best you just in the kitchen. take a piece of this off. You break it off, and inside is um, is like a gel substance. Yes, and it's out. That's the aloe vera. And you vera. can see the flesh in there. And, yes, and it's just you just rub that on your burn, and it's not going to blister. I mean, it just it heals that burn so quickly. And you have to do it right away. Right. I mean, I, as soon as right. I burn myself, I drop everything, go in the laundry room, pick that out, and put the aloe vera on there. And it really, really does help with the burn. And, and aloe vera actually has um, the the uh, flesh and I guess you'd call it the the fluid of uh, mm -hmm. aloe vera. Um, they make juices out of mm -hmm. it's it's oh, yeah. very um, beneficial mm -hmm. to to people. So. Yeah. I was saying and I've before, never seen it bloom. I don't know no, what the bloom mm -mm, looks like on that mm -mm. one. So uh, my, I've never seen mine bloom. But then again, I, as I was saying before uh, we started the show, I have cats. And oh. you've got to be very careful with cats. Mm -hmm. But my cat loves chewing on that. And since it doesn't, Ooh, it doesn't bother. It's not bother, poisonous. No, it's so not. That's, that's no, it's thing. not. Okay. And um, she's, knock on wood, she's really healthy. <laughs> So Maybe that's why. I, I'm saying, you know, <laughs> aloe vera is, is a good plant. Well, but then again, I'm not proponing no. that everybody should let no. their cats, no. you know. Well, our next one um, we're showing you is uh, Crisula, and that is a big, a big family. And actually, a jade plant is in that family. Yes. And now, you would you believe that a jade plant plant would be a cactus? No, it, it never dawned on me that jade mm -hmm. was a cactus. So mm -hmm. we're learning too as we yes. do this program. Yes. But um, this is a jade plant, and this is called a bishop's cap. And um, it's not a jade plant; it's a chrysula. Chrysula. But they have a lot of layers in their leaves. There's just a, a large variety of these, and they're so unique. This would be so pretty in a in a little dish with some other, um, you know, um, cactus with it, mm -hmm. and just do mm -hmm. a dish with a variety of them because they're all so different, and it just, just well, we were looking at different types of this particular uh, plant and variety, and they have some that are just beautiful in colors, oh, yeah. red and, and green, red and green, and, I mean, beautiful at Christmas time. Yes, you know. yes, and. Our question then was, well, where would you purchase something oh, like yeah. this? They're and our only suggestion, yeah, our only suggestion would be to go online and look up some vendor that, mm -hmm. that would, would have. I would the, think you could get them from um, mail order because they'd be easy to ship. Yeah. They're, they're pretty hardy. Yeah, if they're, they're, they're very hardy property. that way. Yeah. So, yes. But they yes. may be a little pricey. Well, because I think some of them are rather rare. Right. And um, so some of them could be a little little expensive. Right. So, but they are the other thing to, to kind of focus in on before we get to the, the next one is the reason that we are seeing so many healthy varieties here is that you have to have the right soil mixture. Mm -hmm. And it has to be very uh, well-drained soil. Yeah, very so, porous, yeah. So you have to add a little bit of topsoil with sand. Mm -hmm. Not peat. Peat is no, too peat's... hard. It won't. It won't let the it dries moisture out in. And won't let the moisture um, in. Yeah. Um, pyrolite. Mm -hmm. uh, pyrolite. Yeah. You you add that into the soil, so it's very loose. And Those then you roots can add, do not want to be sitting in wet soil. No. It has mm -mm. to drain. No. Nope. Yeah. And then you can top off each one with uh, like small pea gravel oh, or something like rocks. that. Rocks, yeah. Uh, because that will help hold the moisture in. Mm -hmm. And then you only water it 
in its growing season Appearance once sparingly. A, once a week at maybe the, maybe 10 but you got to test the dirt uh, the soil the yeah. rock the sand uh, first mm -hmm. and if it's dry water if it's not mm -hmm. leave it alone yeah it's, so this one gets neglected a lot and, and look at how healthy it is fine. i mean my goodness okay. you know okay the next one we have is the echeveria now the echeveria is uh, very common oh, around here. You right. see that a lot at the box stores and the right. nurseries. And it looks, I think they're labeled as succulents and they're really a cactus. Right. And, and you can see that the spine at the very tip yeah. mm -hmm. of each um, each of those leaves. And it's really, it's not a leaf per se, it's, mm -hmm. a, it's to a cactus it's a stem. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, at the very end you can see that that uh, spine, mm -hmm. and that's what labels it a, a cactus. cactus. And then so, it's got little babies coming out, so they send out little baby plants. And right. You can just take those babies and, and put and, them in the ground, and they'll right. grow. They don't have to, um, you don't want to start them in, in water. No, you no. want to start them right in the, the soil, soil that you have just, prepared for your cactus. They'll put their own roots out, and they'll, they'll just multiply. That's right. That's right. Echeveria is a very a very extensive family to a lot of different types. So. It, it is just amazing the <coughs> amount of varieties that yep. they have in, in cactus. I mean, you could talk about oh, and look at cactus hours. for, yes, a whole semester. <laughs> yeah, so if you go on your computer and you go to Google, you know, don't think you got five minutes to look at them. You know, right. Just plan, plan some time to go through these. Yes. They're wonderful. Yes. The next one we have is called a peperomia. Now, the peperomia, uh, I remember when we, when we had offices, you know, I lived, worked in the oh, office. Oh, sure. Every, almost every office uh, had a peperomia plant because they're so easy to care for. And um, they're um, just a very popular now, plant. Now, what kind is that? This is, is that? a peperomia. And um, this I got at the garden club at one of the luncheons. It was a, um, uh, a gift. A raffle a gift. A raffle gift. And you lucky dog. I put it out on the porch in the summer, and then I bring it in for the winter. And this was a little fairy garden. Now, at the, when I got when I received this, this plant was just a small little uh, cluster, mm -hmm. and it has mm -hmm. really, really grown. So it has really uh, and taken over. The light green spikes going up. And you these, saw it, that's the. This is the bloom. That's the actual. Isn't bloom. That's that the amazing? Flower. So that's how they bloom. They're all, so, uh, they're all so different. But there's just so many different varieties of peperomia that you see. So I think we're going to have to go um, on to what we need to do in the garden. Okay. Um, these are just a few of the, the cactus oh, you can look right. at, and there's so many more that right. are just so unusual. And I encourage everybody And we may have to, to have another program on the larger yes. cactus. Yes, so. and, and I encourage everyone to at least investigate mm -hmm. cactus. They really are very yeah, easy. easy to, to, to And they grow, add a lot of interest, so they're so different. Yes, so. yes. So the main thing we have to do in our gardens um, in July... Well, uh, you want to well, be... First of all, you have to be able to brave the heat. Yeah, that's um, right. And the, the humidity. And, and for us, um, we had spring and then it just stopped and we summer. immediately went into hot, hot summer. So well, we've had quite a bit of know. rain in June, but in yes. July you're going to have to yes. really worry about rain, right. uh, watering. And you right know, now you, you just want to deadhead your annuals. Yeah. You want it because that'll keep them blooming. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, remember to water, not over water, and you can fertilize. Um, but there again, you fertilize spring, maybe midsummer, and then... Uh, and your annuals take a lot of fertilizer. Right, yeah. right. So in the perennials, you want to pinch back your mums till about the 15th of June, uh, July. And then uh, they'll have a nice bloom in the fall. And um, if you deadhead a lot of your perennials, they may rebloom. Yes. So your perennials may yes. bloom. Yes. The thing about lawns now um, in July is... Especially, I mean, we've been fairly lucky with the amount of rain mm -hmm. that yeah, we've we had. In June. But now you want to make sure that your lawn gets at least <coughs> one inch of water a week, mm -hmm. um, and that will keep it. And there again, you don't want to cut your lawn really short. Mm -hmm. You want to be able to have, if you want a healthy lawn, you keep it longer, like three, at least three inches. Yes, yeah. yes. And some people think that that's kind of a little long, long but, but it really it's isn't. better for the lawn. It is, it is. And roses, you gotta watch for your aphids and your fungus. 
And I, Japanese beetles usually come in June, but I haven't seen any yet. Mm -mm. So Thank maybe, God. maybe this is going to be a light year for Japanese beetles. I haven't seen any on the golf course or, or on the roses. So. The only thing you can do with vegetables this time of the year is to harvest. Mm -hmm. You're not really planting anymore, mm -hmm. uh, so you just kind of have to make sure that your, your garden, your vegetable garden mm -hmm. is weeded, watered, and then be sure that you pick off the fruit. Um, Before the squirrels do. It, well, yes, <laughs> or the yeah. raccoons, or yeah. the deer, yeah, or whatever. Right, right. <laughs> so. Okay, so if you have any other gardening questions, um, you can go to the Master Gardener um, website. It's bentoncountygardening.org, and there's a lot of information there. And then um, for more information on the Garden Club, the Bella Vista Garden Club, you can go to their website. It's just bellavistagardenclub.com. And uh, after taking a little hiatus in the summer, we will be starting our new year in September. And our meeting will be September 26th. And I'm not sure what the program will be yet, but we'll, no, we'll know yet. that next month. That's right. And it right. uh, starts at 11 o'clock at the Bella Vista Community Church on Lancashire Boulevard. And guests are always welcome. We love to yes, have guests. Yes, we love and to have guests. We love guests. to share our information, and we always have good programs we're, and horticulture. We're a really friendly group. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> but the main thing to do in July is stay cool and enjoy the longer days. Now they're going to start getting shorter as we go along, so we've had our longest day already, and yep. they'll be shorter. But, yep. but thank you, Barb, for joining us today. Oh, and, it was my um, pleasure. You, I always learn so much when you come on the show. Because we <laughs> yes, have to so do, do I. It. Yes, we both learn. It's a learning thing. Gardening is yes. a learning thing. Yes. So, and I hope you've enjoyed the program, and we'll tune in next month. And until then, don't forget to stop and smell the roses.